Okay, video number two. Let's start with the court case stuff. Pretty thick. Some of the journalists, journalists will have no problem. It's pretty extensive, this. This postman never touched, actually, according to the ruling here. <laughs> then all of us could come and go freely. Oh, yeah, Electra Briggs. Uh, that was in Germany when this was written, okay. It would take a long time to go to read all this, so at least I have it available. And the journalists and lawyers are taking copies. So the missing lab is in Canada, parts of it. It was taken by the landlord, um, government of Canada, as well as Alexander and George and Randy and others. Um, Aaron Kovac, a Boeing company. I don't know if that letter's in here, but I have it. You can see it, many pages. Whew. Pretty extensive case. What's that? Oh yeah, I remember some of that guy. Hmm. Return of the lab, which it never returned. I kept Canadian government returned a good part of it. Landlord and George and Alex, that's the rest of it. Get it away. Let's do that, okay. So it'll be Alex, I guess, will be interviewed and. That's a lot of stuff. That's how sick that is. The missing lab story. Okay, so. What else we got here? Uh, I never had these developed. Richard. Oh, I found this in there. Um, unrelated. Well, kind of related, but. when I was on the SBIR program. Hmm. Not this one. Los Alamos Projects. Okay. Canada government. Pictures that need to be developed. These are taken. The gun collection, okay. 
camera is taking all of these frequency device demonstration. Preparation for US government folks. Alex Cesaro and Arslan Mar. Lawyer. Okay. I guess that will go with US stuff. Princess Maria. Many, many uh, letters from overseas. It's kind of interesting looking at this stuff. I didn't bother trying to find the Donald Trump stuff. Do that another time. I let the journalists and lawyers go through that, I guess. What's this? Oh, yeah. The court case. Put that with court case. the way I put that aside then. Uh, I want this one. That is from... Privacy Coordinator. I don't know what's the button. Let's pull her out. Oh, from Japan, okay. Why that's in there, I don't know, but let's just say. Oh, Los Alamos. Okay. Just something I was supposed to do a long time ago, huh? Maybe I did it, I forget it. Oh, fell out these forms. Oh. Yeah, so what's this one? Oh. More fill out forms, okay. I think I did. I, these are copies. Interesting. 
I probably got the rest of it in my many papers. Richard Glue, Government of Canada. Ah, here's the key point. Willing to assist in with identification of equipment during the the container uh -huh. so transport Canada very interesting Richard glue gave me the keys To Shoreguard Mini Storage, where they uh, returned a lot of stuff and my, all my guns and machine tools, which I unfortunately sold off. Because it's going to leave for Germany. But all this new stuff came about. I got the letter too somewhere. Huh. There's some, yeah, there was a bunch of stuff from the White House. I think it's 1997. Well, that one, I put this stuff somewhere safe. I had hundreds of these things. These are all private letters. Lots of them. If not hundreds. From a certain person. Wow. Many of them. cards going back many years. Let's see who, oh, I know who this is. Oh, yeah. Wow, so just recently made contact again. All right, that's all private stuff. That should be private. Hmm. <laughs> I gotta find a location to put that stuff. Now I Pick up somebody to organize all these things and put them in proper binders. There's just tons of it. Down in the green cargo container. Wow. So, back to the court case stuff. So, as I said before, History Channel and Robert Kibbe of the Fox are interested in doing follow up on where that stuff goes, so that'll be uh that sort of kind of and, uh, and I'm inspired to go through with it because certain person lied to me recently last night so we're gonna go for it. We'll find out where everything is 
Randy, yeah, got his address on here. So some of the stuff went to Randy, because uh, they stole the stuff, actually. Against the government of Canada's rules and regulations and the Supreme Court, so. That's where the Canadian lab went to. I'm always asked that. So now we'll get answers. Hmm. Mm, big case. Mm. Wow. So look that up. Hmm. Gotta get interesting. <laughs> Shouldn't lie to me, Alexander. Sponsored Gordon Allen. Down a separate pile of papers, I presume. Hmm. Kind of interesting reading. Make a movie out of it. Witnesses. Okay.
So cool. And this is uh -huh. Receipts. Uh huh. Good old Hutchison effect, Brad. A lot of times here. Yeah. Not a name, to another name. Hmm. Something I wrote, I believe. Who wrote this one? Uh, hmm. Me. Hello. Hmm. Oh, Steve Kozak's a Boeing Aerospace. Hmm. I guess he wrote. I understand that you are dealing with John Hudson. Who are you? I'm from the National Department of Defense. And I'm not from dealing with... Remembering his voice. Until the situation is cleaned up, I don't can't talk about 
further investment. That was... Huh. Aaron Kovac. Or Steven. Now, oh, story and thoughts. What's this? Hmm. Not sure what that is. It's been a long time since I looked at this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, sorry about this, folks, but oh well. Tell the copier cover sheet. Address, okay. Phone number. Huh, let's make it easy for folks. Wow. And cool stuff. We're gonna make a movie. Taking a while. This will be pretty long. Um, my paper here. Ah, uh, Canadian tax. That's interesting. That might promote some interest. In Hmm. Uh. I 
just Nancy could make a PDF file of this entire thing. Hmm. Oh, short guard. Mini storage, okay. Province of British Columbia. Very thorough here. Hmm. Checkbook number of parliament. Interesting. Let's 
damage was out at the granting of this injunction. The court orders further that the plaintiff's application for the balance of the release in hereby adjourned. Interesting. It's been a long time since I read this. Hmm. Yeah, some well, some of the gear was at PCBs, which was illegal, and the government had every right to take that high voltage stuff. Ralph Kipperling. Hmm. Bill Ross, okay, another. Mr. Blue. Could be a motion picture, ha ha ha, I suppose, but anyway. So we've got lots to go with here on this whole thing. Ah. Concerns of the city. Hmm. This is uh, Vancouver. Big Leaf. CSIS, her name is Security Intelligence Service. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, old history, but it's going to lead to something, I think. This stuff should be properly uh, photographed. Put in a soil or something. Mur and hide. Mm. Oh, I put it in this. The other case that we won. Touch is called Hutch's and Effect Apparatus. I mean, I think I read that, didn't I? Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, this is probably active. Oh, this has gone on for quite a while now, hanging with this paper. Get rid of it. Well, I just skimmed over this, folks, but this is the case, and I do a small movie on it. Investigation and follow up. You have my permission. Also, to YouTube people to upload it. No 
from, like a careless. Why does things progress positively with these characters? Wow. This is a small amount from the 45 gallon barrel. Filled for the top. Talk about crazy, huh? Oh, hi, Leo. You're right here. tired of all that excitement we had today. So, hmm. What can we see with that? I should get these to go. Come on. I'm gonna put those. Mm hmm. This uh, photographs are taken. I got the negative group. Yeah, so they should be developed, I think. That was a good project, that one was. Okay, let's see what this card. Oh. 1983 contract with the U.S. government folks for demonstration. Put those somewhere, but I can't see if I can see anything on them, but I don't think so. Oh, well. 47 minutes of this, huh? All of it, uh, yeah, I'll stick this in a special location. You never know what characters are running around out there. So I gather the equipment was not to be touched or stored somewhere else, like somebody claims. Whew, that's a long one, huh? On that note, I should get going here. I'll just briefly cover that. I should be all uploaded on the internet somehow. The whole Supreme Court case and attachments and that. So maybe somebody can do that. Or the television or lawyer folks will do that as well. So the Miss Hutchison's missing lab story. All right, folks, take care.